What's up guys, Alex here, Nickens Lawn and Landscape. I want to talk with you guys a little bit about how to go about getting your first customers for your lawn company. So you got it in your head, you're starting a company, you got your push mower, your weed eater, your blower, whatever, maybe you don't have that. But whatever, you decided you want to start, maybe you're going to do landscape maintenance. So you got a rake, a shovel, a few things. Not much, but you're ready to start. So what do you do? Um, flyers, not a bad idea. Um, they're, you know, they're good. You can go door to door. That's not a bad thing. But your biggest thing, especially starting off, but really through your whole time, is going to be word of mouth. So first thing you want to do, tell your buddies, tell your family, tell everybody, hey, I'm doing this, you know, I know you guys, if I work for you, I'll, I'll give you maybe a 10% a discount or a 20% discount for being one of my first customers. Um, do something like that. And another huge thing, which this is getting so big, it's not even funny, social media. If you have a Facebook page or an Instagram or a Twitter or anything, say, hey, you know, you guys all know me, you're my friends, I'm starting a, I'm starting a lawn care company, or I'm starting a landscape maintenance company. If you got anything, you know, let me know. And then once once you do those things, it's really a matter of time. I mean, they're gonna come, especially family, obviously, if you're, you know, you're close with your family or, or your friends, your friend's parents, your friend's grandparents, whatever, but they'll start to come slowly. I mean, they're not gonna be flooding your door, you know, knocking your door down, that's not gonna happen, but it's it'll happen and once you get going start taking some pictures start taking you know a picture here and there and whether you post it on social media or, or what you do with it that's up to you but that way you've got it and if somebody says oh hey you know timmy i heard you started a landscape company it's like yeah hey check these photos out i, I you know i did a job last week or i did i did two jobs last week or i worked for our buddy you know your common friend so and so you know make sure you have documentation of the jobs you've done you can you could tell everybody, oh, hey, I did a 30-foot retaining wall and made 10 grand. It's like, oh, cool, let me see the pictures. Oh, I didn't take any. Oh, it's like, oh, okay, cool. You know, it's it's not the same. Or it's like, hey, I did a leaf cleanup for your cousin. It's like, oh, cool. It's like, check out the pictures. Look, this is what it looked like before. There's leaves everywhere. It didn't look really taken care of. You know, it looked like somebody kind of forgot about it. This is after we did what we do. Check it out. And like, oh wow, man, that you know that looks great, cool. That is how you're gonna build it. You gotta get people interested, and you gotta let people know what you do. People have to know what you do. You have friends, you have family, you have you're you're in a you're in a circle, so to say. You know people, so let them know what you do. Let them know, hey, I'm doing landscape. Or when you see them, just be like, oh, hey, how's work going? You know, ask them first how their work's going. If they're family, if they're your friends, you should be interested in anyway. So ask them how their work's going. And then after you talk about their work, they're gonna go, oh yeah, how's this going? How's how's your landscape company or how's your lawn care company doing? And that's, bam, there you go, that's your foot in the door. That's when you start saying, oh man, it's going great. You know, we've, we've grown 100% since six months ago or whatever, or, you know, just tell them what you've done. Show them, show them the pictures that you have tell them what kind of jobs you're doing. Don't start talking about money. Nobody wants to hear that. People want to hear about success. Nobody wants to hear anybody brag. So tell them what you're doing and, and you know, tell them how it's working for you and what you've done to make it work. Don't brag, but but be confident and say, yeah, I, I love what I do. I love landscaping. I love that I made this decision to go into the landscape industry. I'm so happy. Yeah, I've got a lot to learn, but I've already learned a lot. You know, you gotta you gotta tell people this and, and they're gonna start seeing like, wow, you know, he's actually going for it. And that's when the bigger jobs are gonna come in or, you know, <coughs> the referrals from this person, this person, this person, you know, by the time it gets to the person that actually called you, you're like, wow, that, that, you know, my name traveled. That's what's gonna happen once you start once everybody knows what you do. They say it's not the first person somebody sees your flyer, it's the sixth or the seventh or the eighth or the tenth. They have to repeatedly see what you're doing and how you're doing. So if you know you see these people or, or if you do it on Facebook, say or Instagram, you know, once a week, post a post a picture and say, you know, things are going great over here at, at Timmy's Lawn Care. We're doing you know, now installing mulch or, or, you know, say it's fall or your season, you want to say. We're, we're now doing leaf removal 
you know, grass mowing's over, we're, we're doing leaves now, or if it's winter, we're, we're now doing snow plowing, or, you know, we're not doing snow plowing. If you don't want to do snow plowing, say, you know, we're done for a couple of months, but make sure you think of us in the spring. You have to keep them engaged, and if you don't do, you know, if you do have an off season, take a bunch of pictures and save them up. That way, once a week, you throw a picture on there, hey, you know, back in January when we did Miss Johnson's landscape, you know, or whatever, just keep people thinking about you, and they're always thinking about you, and, and every time they do think about you, not always thinking about you, but when they do think about you, they think, bam, landscaping or lawn care or whatever, whatever it is you're, whatever it is you're doing, but when you want it, when everybody that knows you thinks of you, they think of your job, they think, you know, not that you're a workaholic, but they think entrepreneur, this guy started his business, he's doing great, and once you... You know, when you're always wearing your t-shirt when you go to functions or when you go out in public, you're always wearing your t-shirt. Somebody sees you like, you know, hey, nice nice business shirt. That's, you know, that's a nice shirt. Or, hey, I saw a picture on Facebook. You were doing this, this, and this. It's like, yeah. And, you know, obviously you ask them how they're doing and that. And be respectful and don't be, you know, don't be like, oh, yeah, you know, that's, that's why I do it to get business. No, you do it to get people engaged, to get people thinking about you, to get people thinking about their lawns, about their landscapes. That's your goal. When you get to that point, it's a matter of time until you, you know, until you are going to be very happy with where you are. You should be happy the whole time. You're, you're working for yourself. You're doing a very good thing. You're doing a thing a lot of people can't do or won't do or intimidated to do. It is intimidating, but once you get in there, you learn as you go. It's not... You don't have to think of it as, oh, I'm starting a corporation, or, oh, I'm, I'm starting this. You're starting a one-man business. Start it and learn as you go. It's it's like school. You're teaching yourself. It's it's a great feeling. It's an amazing feeling that everyone needs to experience. And you, you just need to get out there and do it. Don't wait. Do not wait. If I can tell you one thing, do not wait. Don't necessarily quit your job to do it. But start on the side, start on the weekends, you know, don't, if you're one of those people that says I don't have time right now or, you know, I don't have the equipment or anything, you don't, you know, start with the jobs that you do have time and you do have equipment for. If you got one hour a week, do one job a week that takes you one hour and if all you have is a rake, rake leaves for one hour once a week, whatever it takes. Get started, please get started right now. Do not wait. I wish I would. I started whenever I was 18, and I wish I would have done it sooner. But now, being 24 years old, it's it's, it's a great feeling to, to have done this and to to be where I'm at. I love what I do, and that's, I'm encouraging everyone else. Whether even if you're watching this video, and you don't care anything about lawn care, or you don't care anything about landscaping. Do what you love. Do what makes you happy. Please do what makes you happy. That will make this world a better place. It makes my life so much better. It will make your life so much better. Everybody that I know that owns a business, that is passionate about their business, just absolutely loves life. Just totally embraces life and just runs with it. And that, it is amazing. You just, and it all started with starting a lawn care company. You know, it, it doesn't matter where it comes from. Just find it and run with it. It's, you need to do it. Do it today. Thanks for watching. Alex, Nick and Blonde Landscape. Like and subscribe.